Namo Amitabha Buddha. Hello everyone. So today I'd like to share a very incredible and auspicious rebirth case. It's the rebirth case of Wei Guoxing. And what's so special about this rebirth case was that it was witnessed by more than 1,500 people and also more than 300 people outside the temple also saw Amitabha Buddha, Guan Yin and Da Shizhi on the sky to came to receive lay Buddhist Wei Guoxing. So I also received a few comments on the channel saying how do you know those people actually saw rebirth to the Pure Land and how do you know if they had not committed suicide so they know uh, the time of their death. So I trust these people who have uh, such comments, most likely they have not really watched uh, all the rebirth videos that I posted under the playlist rebirth cases. So how do you know if this is not suicide? Have you seen anybody who commit suicide by just sitting in meditation? Right? Usually if someone commits suicide, they need to, I don't know, use a knife to cut themselves or to drink some poison. I don't know what kind of ways people may commit suicide. But these people, they have not done anything to themselves. Not only they know the time of their rebirth, and also beforehand they would tell you in advance they have have seen Amitabha Buddha or the Bodhisattvas who came to tell them the time of their rebirth and also on the day of their rebirth they go with a very peaceful calming and smiling face no one who commits suicide would go like that their body is completely soft the face is very calm and sometimes even with a smile and the face look like as if it was still alive or even much better than before so this is absolutely not suicide this is definitely rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure land and if you have doubts about other videos so some rebirth cases are more obvious than others and then this case I trust it can eliminate your doubt about the existence of Amitabha Buddha and the pure land and there are indeed many people particularly in China have already sought rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure land. So Lei Buddha's Wei Guo Xin's rebirth case happened in 2003, the fifth day of the second lunar month in Fortune Temple in Sichuan Province, Mianyang, Qingyi County. So it was the last day of the Fo Qi retreat, seven days near Fo retreat, which commonly held in many temples all across China. On the last day of the Fo Qi, Wei Guo Xin sought rebirth to the Pure Land by sitting in meditation and he sought rebirth exactly at 12 o'clock noon, the same time as what he told others beforehand. And this Fo Qi retreat was actually specifically held for Wei Guo Xin because not long before Wei Guo Xin told the monk in the temple that Amitabha Buddha and the Bodhisattvas have come to tell him he will be received by them in a few days. And after the monk from the temple heard this, he was very happy and he said, how about we held a seven days retreat for you so many people can witness this auspicious event. So that's why they held this Fo Qi retreat specifically for Wei Guo Xin. And there were more than 1,500 people who witnessed the auspicious rebirth of Wei Guo Xin. And also more than 300 people who stood outside the temple saw in the sky the manifestation of Amitabha Buddha, Guan Yin, and Da Shi Zhi came to receive Wei Guo Xin on the temple and also there was wonderful fragrance that pervaded the temple for a very long time during the time of his rebirth. So Wei Guo Xin was born in 1927 in Sichuan province, Mianyang. He was a very honest person and he used to be a carpenter. In 1997, he took the three refuges and five precepts and started to study Buddhism. For more than five years, he single-mindedly practicing the Pure Land Dharma. He would kneel for and also listen to Pure Land Dharma talks and also read the sutras. 
He also cultivated the 10 good deeds, the six parameters, and generated the unsurpassed bodhicitta. So not only he practiced Nianfo for himself, he will also widely share this Nianfo Dharma with as many people as possible through printing out sutras and distributing them for free, and also sending out Amitabha Buddha statues. He will also rescue animals and set life free. He extensively made offerings to many people. So this is really the kind of cultivation for people who can attain the highest grade of rebirth. So for people who want to attain the highest grade of rebirth, one should generate the unsurpassed bodhicitta and also to cultivate the 10 good deeds, to have the compassionate heart and refrain from killing. In 2002, at the age of 75, he was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. He knew that this had to be the manifestation of his bad karma from the past. And his family insisted to send him to the hospital for treatment, but he rejected and he said, if I were to live in a hospital, I would like to live in Amitabha Buddha's hospital. So he went to the Fortune Temple and asked the monk there. Uh, the monk's name was called De Xin Shifu and asked him what he should do now. And De Xin Shifu said, why don't you kneel for single-heartedly? And if you still have more time here on earth, then maybe your illness will be recovered. And if you don't, then maybe you will be able to know the time of your rebirth. You can show many people Amitabha Buddha and the Pure Land is indeed real. So after Wei De Xin heard this, he smiled and decided to stay in the temple to single-heartedly near for, to near for even more diligently. And he will also read the Infinite Life Sutra and the Siddhagava Sutra. Now, it's not a must for one to read the sutras to go to the Pure Land, but some people, they also prefer to read the sutras, uh, particularly the Pure Land sutras. Uh, it's also a way for them to deepen their faith and vow. So everyone is different and one can choose uh, whichever method that is most suitable. So depending on people's preferences. On the 25th day of the first lunar month in 2003, Wei Guoxing told the monk in the temple that he has saw Amitabha Buddha, Guan Yin and Da Shi Ji Pusa to came to tell him that they will come to receive him in a few days. And the monk upon hearing this was very happy and said, well, if you have such good cultivation, we will specifically hold a Fu Qi seven days Nianfo retreat for you to invite many people to come to witness this auspicious event. In that way, it can also help spread the Pure Land Dharma so many people will gain faith in Amitabha Buddha. And Wei Guoxing agreed. So if you have relatively good cultivation with sincere faith and vow towards seeking rebirth to the Pure Land, then you will be able to know the time of your rebirth in advance. And you can also tell people about it to come to witness your rebirth so more people can gain faith in Amitabha Buddha and the Pure Land. And this is exactly what happened to Wei Guoxing. So he decided that on the last day of the Nianfo retreat, he will seek rebirth to the Pure Land and the time will be 12 o'clock. During the time of the retreat, he will also give Dharma talks to tell people to let go of their attachment to the Sattha world, uh, to practice generosity, to practice good deeds, to near fall with faith and vow to seek rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land. My talk, maybe many people have heard it, so I must complete the Four Qi retreat. Why this day? Because some suffering sentient being said, you say study Buddhism is good, why is it good? You say study Buddhism can help us transcend birth and death to attain freedom. How? Show me. I'll just show you. If I can't do it, Buddhists don't lie. This time I'll complete my study. These suffering sentient beings are confused. We only have 11 hours left. 
I love to give. Everywhere I share the teachings, I always give. Many people have doubts. They doubt about this truth. What do you say? I don't believe. Then this month, the fifth of the second lunar month, with the last effort, I invite all of you to come and see. Some people even say, "Is this old man psycho?" I say, "This is real." I report to you. Why I do this? All beings in the world should learn to let go. So you can dress, you can take a bath. I want to have this formality. Why? I need to live in this temple for seven days. Every day I recite sutras, pay repentance, kneel for standing and walking. But I tell these people. Many people came to see if it's a joke. Tomorrow, the fifth in the afternoon, we will have the closing ceremony. I hope everyone won't think this temple is a superstition. Buddha Dharma is education, education to help us walk on the right path, to refrain from evil, to cultivate good, to pay filial piety to the parents, to pay respect to the teachers. The best kindness is our filial piety. The worst evil is lust. Nowadays, the society is like an entertainment town. All the monks, lay Buddhist teachers, Dharma friends, everyone. Today is the day of my rebirth. This forty rebirth retreat is now complete. Today is the day I bid farewell. Thank you, everyone, for your caring. After the closing ceremony, everyone sent Wei Guoxing to the rebirth hall. He was still offering incense twenty minutes before his rebirth. A miracle happened. Wei Guoxing indeed saw rebirth exactly at twelve o'clock noon by sitting in meditation on the fifth day of the second lunar month in two thousand and three. He saw rebirth peacefully. At that time, more than three hundred people saw Amitabha Buddha, Guan Yin, and Da Shi Zhi Pu Sa appear on the sky of Fortune Temple, and a wonderful fragrance pervaded the entire temple. Oh, oh, oh.